Hi, Dennis McMahon here from MCM Green Man Group. Now this presentation is all about Knuff. You may not have ever heard of Knuff, but uh, you've probably heard of hemp. Now hemp and Knuff, different plant families, but uh, similar type of plants. They're, they're, they're a, um, a stalk, they grow around about four meters tall. Um, and what they're used for is a whole range of things, but in, in the context of this particular discussion, um, they're used for textiles, uh, for the fabric. Uh, industry. So, in addition, yeah, you know, they can be used as a superfood. They can be used for animal feed. They can be used for industrial construction materials. There's a whole range of other things. But we're talking about um, the textile industry because that is the high high value side of uh, of the biofiber industry, such as hemp and canuff and so forth. So, just to give you an idea um, about the process, because this 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 presentation and, and the investment deck is all about a particular. <coughs> phase of the Canuff process, Canuff growing and, and production process. So <clears throat> obviously it's a crop, so you need the land, you need farmers, you need uh, seeds, you need uh, fertiliser inputs, you need water, you need all those things. Um, it's a very high dense uh, density uh, crop uh, for the particular variety of seeds that are used in Malaysia, and this is about Malaysia. Um, it's around about 500,000 plants uh, per hectare. Um, from that, you get something like 10 to 15 uh, metric ton per hectare of, uh, of output of sort of biomass. Um, and of course, after the cleaning process and, and whatever, which we'll go through, um, you, you end up with, with around about 50% of that that you can use for processing uh, for, for fibre. So from a hectare, I think you can reasonably assume that you'll, you, know, you, you can pull three solid quality tons of, of fibre from the, uh, from the process. Now, what happens is, after being harvested, um, the plant is typically and traditionally, worldwide for thousands of years, allowed to do what is called retting. Basically, it's a, it's a, a rotting process, kind of, because the plant has an outer layer called BAST, B-A-S-T, and an inner layer or an inner core, and they, they are bound together by a whole range of different sort of uh, natural chemicals, uh, lignans and pectins and a whole range of other things, which if you want to know exactly what they are, we can send you information. But now, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's like a resin, and it, and it binds the outer layer, which is the bast, of, which is where you get the fibre from, and the core, which is also used for other byproducts, but we're talking about the bast fibre at the moment. And if you don't allow that separation to occur properly, um, then when you process it, you, you get the two parts sticking together and damaging the fibre. So retting is a, is a critical part of the process. So we've decided to focus on that section. Now, traditionally what happens, as I said, is after the crop is harvested, as in cut down um, through the, in the field, whether by mechanical or manual or whatever, it's, it's left in the field to allow natural forces, rain, dew, heat, whatever, to, to ret the stalks and sort of break down those, those binders, if you like. Now, you can just imagine, right, I've got a crop that I've spent all this time, it's a very fast growing crop too, four months, four months of, you know, from, from seed to, to plant, um, and you can then harvest, so it's a very quick turnaround crop. So, you can imagine that I've spent, well, the farmer, uh, with our support, has you know, spent the time and money and effort to, to grow this crop, and then you leave it in the field for four to six weeks or something, um, or you, you put it in water, um, which, so you need a whole different thing and it's a very polluting uh, type of process. So in that time, anything can happen. You, there's no control. So you, you could under ret it, which means you take it out and start the process before the retting's finished, which may be damaging uh, the, 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 the main fibre. You may over ret, which means you're actually destroying the, fi the fibre because you've allowed it to, to ret or rot too much. So what our partners have done um, through years of trial and error have, um, have developed a number of different processes. One is, uh, is a chemical process, one is a bacterial process, one is an enzymatic process to be able to control the retting in a controlled environment. Now at the moment, this is cottage level, right? That they've done it kind of you know, with what they've had, with what they could do. What we are doing is, is bringing this to a, um, a controlled environment facility arrangement where, you know, we get the, 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 the cut stalks, if you like, from the field. 
we bring them over to the facility um, and, and there is smallholder farmers throughout Malaysia who are already growing or, or can, certainly can grow enough if, if the market's there and they're going to get paid properly and everything else, which is part of our arrangement. So it comes in, um, it can be properly treated at the point of entry, it can go through a process which rets this stalk in, t in, in four hours from, from end to end process rather than four weeks or six weeks. So you can just imagine how that improves both the time efficiency and the cost efficiency of the product as well as maintaining quality and ensuring that you, know, you, you can tell an off-taker I'm going to have this much tonnage of high quality fibre ready for you at this point. So that's where the, the, the process of bringing this into a sort of industrialised proce uh, process is, is where we're coming in because we, we see the real benefit of uh, of Knuff being that high quality fibre for the textile market, but you must be able to control the environment in which you do this, this retting. So, we've run the numbers on what it needs. Um, there is commercial equipment available um, for this process, although what we have done, or what our partners have done, have improved what is typically done, even in the commercial aspects, which means we, lead, we need less equipment, we don't need heat, so we don't have costs of, uh, of, of you know, powering up for heat and everything else. Um, and it's, it's a much more environmentally friendly process as well. So, this presentation is all about saying there is a huge untapped market for high quality canuff uh, uh, fibre, not being met by anybody at the moment. Um, this is a critical step in the process of getting high quality fibre. It's probably, um, from what we've seen, it's, it's the best process that there is available in the world today. Certainly, there is no doubt that the market is there for this, this high quality fibre. So, what we're, we're seeking at the moment <coughs> is two, two million US dollars, and that is to do a number of things. One is to build a facility, obviously, uh, on three acres of land in Kalantan. Uh, one is to buy the equipment and do some modifications to suit our particular process. Thirdly, is to support the farmers to make sure that we have the funding to, to pay them you know, immediately on harvest, help them with their inputs and all the other things that go with that to make sure that our, our supplier base is extremely happy and, and we, can, can, we can expand the supplier base. There's plenty of land, there's plenty of farmers, but it's a case of making sure that they, they, they want to grow because there's a market where they're going to get paid well. So that's part of what we're, we're doing. Um, including things like you know, buying mechanical harvesting equipment that, that we can have out on contract to make sure that the, uh, that the crop is harvested properly and, and uh, extremely fast. All of those things to, to, to build an ecosystem to make sure that our supply of, uh, of stalk coming into our facility is both sufficient and also of high quality. So that's what this uh, presentation is all about. Um, if you're interested in investing in this uh, fantastic industry, um, we have two options for you. Uh, it's all in the deck. Basically, what we're going to build is able to be replicated around the world for hemp, for canaf, for jute, for any of those kind of uh, stalk fibre uh, materials for which there is an enormous market, as I said. Textiles, um, the automotive industry uh, you know, loves the products because they can use them for uh, much lighter, eco-friendly material for the internal door panels and other things. Um, Industrial you know, construction is, is already using it for making uh, engineered timber, if you like, from, from hemp. Um, you can also use it for industrial panels and a whole range of other things. So, but as I said, we're focusing on the textile market because it is the high value, high margin market. You'll see the numbers in the presentation. Um, have a look at it. Uh, as I said, if you need any more questions, just ask me. My contact details in there as well. Uh, but at the moment, we just want you to consider whether you want to be part of this uh, extremely um, viable market, huge demand, limited supply. Uh, this is a process that is not being done anywhere else in the world, so you get a buy-in on the IP. So there, as I said, there are two investment options. One, if you consider that this is a market you'd like to be in, an industry you'd like to be in for some time, we do have a convertible note, uh, safe sort of uh, you know, leading to equity um, arrangement for those who want to be part of the longer journey. Um, or we have a straightforward loan for um, for two years, put the money in, you know, we're, we're negotiable, but let's say 10% uh, per year for uh, for investors on a, on a, on a loan basis. Um, so 10% a year for two years and then your principal repaid. You'll see in the numbers um, purely on, uh, on a, a fairly conservative basis, 
it'll generate around about 2.5 million a year in, in profit from this one facility. So certainly the, uh, the, the payback arrangements are, are well covered. Uh, we're also providing a guarantee by a lien over the uh, receivables. So you'll have first call on all the receivable money coming in to make sure that you're going to get paid. So there's a number of things here, but as I said, the, the, the Canuff market, uh, the fire fiber market, generally speaking, is, is just massive. Um, and it's waiting for this type of innovation to allow quality, quantity and certainty into the market. Have a look. Talk to me. Thanks for your time. Dennis here. Thanks. Bye.